Well, hello there, everybody. It is Blake. Welcome back to another super exciting video full of magic. It's gonna be a good one. Yes, as you guys can tell from the title, this is a haul, but it's a few months, more than a few months after the trip that I had. So this haul is from my Disneyland vlog, October 2015 vlog series, and it is currently Monday, April 18th, 2016. So it's been literally like six months since I was there in Disneyland. I just finished filming my April and May 2015 Disneyland hauls, since those are kind of delayed as well. That's like literally a year later that I just filmed those. And this one is just six months later. So you know, it's not that bad. I just finished uploading my Disneyland Vlogtober series the other day, like the last video was just posted a few days ago. So I like to take things slow. I like to make them last, make sure that we get as much magic out as we possibly can. So that's why I'm filming this video six months later than I actually originally intended to film it when I got back from the trip. So anyway, Anyways, let's get down to it. It's a haul. It's Disneyland. It's gonna be magical, as you guys probably know already. Here is the bag that I got, uh, a bunch of stuff. So, oh my gosh. There's gonna be no particular order for this haul. There's gonna be Disneyland stuff and not scary farm stuff as well, since I'm just incorporating all the stuff into one kind of haul for the whole trip. So I don't really know exactly what stuff is in here. It's been in storage the past six months. Just went and grabbed everything, literally from my April trip to Disneyland, my May trip to Disneyland, and then my October trip to Disneyland. And I'm gonna go through it now, and I'm probably gonna be like, oh my god, I forgot I had this. Or like, oh, look at this, this is cute. Because I haven't really looked at anything. I just like shoved everything into bags and put it all in storage, and now I'm grabbing it all for the first time. So anyways, let's get down to it. No particular order. We have a map from Disneyland, nope, California, no, what is this? It's a map for the Grand California Hotel, I can't even speak. There's the Grand California Hotel like that, and then here's a map showing me how to get around the park areas. Neat, neato. Next up I have this <sighs> annoying popcorn bucket. I bought this one when I was with Cassie and Ashley at Disneyland, my like, second to last night or whatever it was, and the Mickey head, literally, from the time that I got it, the Mickey head didn't stay on properly. It was full of popcorn, and it was so annoying because the head won't stay on, like the little, hat piece or whatever, the ears won't stay stuck onto this. So it's like super duper annoying in that sense, but you know what, I'll deal with it. Mickey doesn't need a head, I guess. So I don't remember how much this was, probably like 15 bucks or something with popcorn. You know, Disneyland popcorn's the best, so gotta charge a lot. Um, okay, I'll just shove this in here. Great, this is good. Good little vampire Mickey. So cute. Next up here I have an autograph book. Yay! Like I said, I get one every single trip that I'm at Disneyland because I like to make memories last. So I literally have a collection of autograph books now. If you guys want to see a video of me going through all this stuff, all my autograph books or whatever, leave a comment down below in the comment section so I know that you guys would be interested in seeing that kind of thing. I know sometimes I get requests from you guys asking to like flip through my autograph books so you guys can see all the autographs and stuff, but I never know if you guys actually want to see that. So if you do want to see it, let me know but leave a comment down below because I would love to do that. That's a fun video, I'm sure. Next up here we have newspapers, yay! More newspapers, I just had some for my last haul, so good to have more. How many do I have? I have like five. Got lots of newspapers. Yes, this is a Buena Vista Street Bugle. Fall, fabulous fall. This is the fall 2015 issue, volume four issue for local businesses dazzle with spirited offerings. So it's the Buena Vista Street newspaper, I guess, from Disney California Adventure Park. I literally haven't even read these yet. I should read them and see what it's all about because I'm sure it's cute. It's free, so if you guys are ever at DCA, go to, I don't know what it's called. Ugh. They're like main head office gate thing there inside DCA and get some newspapers because they're always good to have and fun souvenirs for free, right? Next up here, I have a menu. This is from Tangaroa Terra. I got another one when I was just there a few weeks ago too. I just love to collect menus currently. 60th anniversary Disney celebration. My favorite thing to get every time I go there is the Angus Hawaiian cheeseburger. So delicious. If you guys ever go to Tangro Terrace, get that burger with yam fries and you will love it, I'm sure. So good. Next up here, I have a Mickey ear hat. Yay! See, I didn't know I had this. This was 1995. We have Vampire Mickey, there's Donald, Minnie, Goofy, and Pluto, and then like a little haunted house on the top of it. The ears are all like covered in velvet trees and stuff. And in the back is cats and little Mickey pumpkins and stars. It's actually really cute. I love this hat. I forgot I had that, so. It's good that I'm doing this haul. I find lots of new stuff, right? Next up here we have a shirt. Does this one fit me? Let's find out. Yeah, it's an adult small. Okay, cool. This one will fit me because I remember the one I got before last October. Well, October 2014. Oh gosh, now. They didn't have any like adult sizes of the shirt, so I just got a youth large or something. It was too small, so I was kind of disappointed about that. But this one, they actually made for adults. So it says Halloween. Oh, this is the exact same design that's on that hat that I just showed you guys. So yeah, that's what it looks like if you guys couldn't see. I don't know. I feel like this glows in the dark too. Yeah, it, okay. As it clearly says right there, this shirt glows in the dark. 
Jeez. And this shirt was $24.95 at a gift shop. I'm not exactly sure where I got it from. I'm sure they sold it everywhere though, so love that. Next up here, we have a sad, sad story about this one. This is something I didn't put in storage because I kept it out for Halloween when I got back from my trip and I'm rat sitting. I've been rat sitting. I guess, I don't know if they're my pet rats now or if they're still my friends. I don't really know what the situation is. But at the time, I'd just gotten the rats. They were living in my bedroom and this had fallen off my like little desk onto like the cage and the rats apparently loved to taste it. And they were like, you know what? I want to eat Figaro instead of pumpkins. So they did. They completely destroyed him. I was super duper sad because this was limited edition item. They're never going to have it again. And I spent 20 US dollars on it. So now he's kind of like a zombie. He's kind of like a zombie cat, right? Zombie Figaro. I mean, it's a look. It's all right. It's interesting. It's different. Mickey's ear is gone here. Figaro's ear is gone here. His nose is all chewed off. His eyeball is kind of missing. Uh, his brains are spewing out of the pumpkin. So here's the Mickey ear. I literally found these inside their cage. Remember, I had to go into their cage and grab it out because I was like so mad. Here's Mickey's ear there and then Pharaoh's ear there. So, I mean, yeah, it's kind of cute, right? Next Halloween, I can just bring him out and be like, oh, he's just zombie or like, he's vintage, he's falling apart, you know? So, really, really sad about it, but you know, oh well. You live and you learn, I guess. That's why the rats now live out here where nothing can get to them because they've destroyed other stuff as well, but that's a whole other, whole other story, so. Yay for zombie Pharaoh. Love him. Next up here, I have a map. I feel like I've shown this before, I don't exactly know. This is obviously new if I got it in this bag. Indiana Jones map. This was $3.95 at a gift shop. I'm assuming the one that sells Indiana Jones stuff. Yeah, I don't know any of this stuff here. Tonza in the film. This isn't even English. I have no idea what this is. But can you guys even see? Can you guys even hear me? Let alone see. So yeah, I don't know. What does that say? Adventure Outpost? It looked cool. Figured I could like frame it and put it on the wall or something. It was $3.95, so yay, I love it. Next up here, I have a bag full of maps, I think. Okay, they're maps and times guides. Lots of maps and lots of times guides, yeah. As you can tell, I love to collect these apparently. Oh, there's a Mickey's Halloween party map. I love that one, that one's always a good one to have. So California Adventure Park was themed for Tower of Terror and then Disneyland was themed for Haunted Mansion. My two favorite rides, would you look at that? That's so neat. Yay for all these, these are free. I did not pay for those things, don't worry. <laughs> Next up we have, aw, Boogie Boogie plush. I think I got this in before Christmas gift shop, whatever that one's called. It's just a little bean bag, plushy of Boogie Boogie and a spider coming out of him because he's filled with bugs. This was $16.95 and he's really cute. I love them. You can hear his beans. Yay. Next up here, I have a big bag of candy because when I was at Disneyland for Halloween time, I went to Mickey's Halloween party dressed up in my Sarah Sanderson costume. If you guys didn't see that, go check out that video because that was so much fun. Everyone loved my costume. I loved my costume. I was obsessed with it. And I went trick or treating. So got a bag full of candy. I still haven't eaten it yet. Yikes. I wonder if this is still good. I love Reese's Pieces. Oh. So good. So this side of the bag is the Good Dinosaur, which came out on Thanksgiving apparently. And then the other side is Aladdin on Blu-ray, October 13th. And then Happy Halloween Trick or Treat at Disney Parks is what the sides of the bag say. And then the like annual pass holder treat was this. <laughs> You go to like the special AP holder section of Mickey's Halloween party, like trick or treat spot or whatever. You would, can't get in with an annual pass. This was the treat that they gave us last year for 2014 was a Mickey Mouse Rice Krispie treat, I think. And then this year was this thing, a brownie pop. I don't like brownies or chocolate like that. So that's why I didn't eat it, but it's still there if you guys want it. So let me know, you can have it. Yeah. Next up here, I have a cup. This is, I don't know how much this was. If I remember correctly, I think I got it from a uh, pizza port in Tomorrowland. I'm pretty sure I got it there with my lunch one day. There's one, two, three, four ghosts. And then there's Mickey, Goofy, and Donald. Little like ghost hunters in a teal cup. That's super cute. And then next up here, I have this sweater, which I actually have worn because I kept it out when I got back from my trip and I wore it a couple times and then I just like shoved it in top of the bag. I found the tag for it was in the bag. It was $54.95, which is so ridiculously expensive for a sweater because that also translates to like $9,000 Canadian. But anyways, this isn't even gonna be made anymore because I got rid of Mad Tea Party, so I kinda like it in that sense. I think it's too small for me. It's an adult small, but I feel like the sleeves are a bit too short for me, if I remember correctly. I'm not 100% sure. I love it though, it's super cute. It's Mad Tea, and then there's the Treasure Cat on it with his big huge eyes. Oh, it looks so cool in the monitor up there, I love that. And then on the side, it says, we're all mad here, if you guys can see that there on the arm. It's worth the money though, because if you guys love Mad Tea Party, if you love the Cheshire Cat, like me, it's worth it. And it's super cute. Yeah, I love it. I'll have to wear it more and see how it looks. 
Next up here we have this. Boogie Boogie Glow Lanyard is what it's called apparently. Uh, it's fuchsia, I don't know what that means. I don't know how much it is. How do you make it work? What do you do? Oh, there. Oh, okay. Is there anything more besides that? Okay, it can either be red or all colors at once or flashing red or flashing blue or flashing green or nothing or flashing all of them. So yay. I love it. That's cute, right? Oh, I look so fancy now in the mod of that. Flash, flash, flash. Boogie Boogie is like, oh, he does something too. Oh, that's really cool. Hmm, like he lights up crazy. Or he lights up like that. Or like that. Does he shut off? Okay, he shuts off. We're good. I don't know if they still sell this. If they do, go buy one. This is really neat. Next up here, I have this bag of candy, I think. Yes, chocolate caramel ghouls are, is what these are called. This says a night of horror in Adventureland. Nightmare natives, tiki terror, pillaging pirates. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I have no idea where I got these from. How much was this? This was $6.95. That's really cute. I love it. Next up here I have this visitor's guide. I think I got this from the hotel. I definitely didn't pay for this. I just took it because it was Disney on the front. Cute, I love it. Next up I have this bag. Oh yeah, this was the Disneyland annual pass holder bag that they gave you at the Halloween trick or treat stop at Mickey's Halloween party. I got that brownie pop thing in this bag. So this is D60 Disneyland annual passport and it's cute. I still haven't used it yet obviously, but I will have to use it and see how it works. Hopefully it doesn't rip off my shoulders and break everything inside. Next up here I have, I don't know why this is in here, but it's a good memory. My In-N-Out hat from when I went to In-N-Out with Cassie. Not my favorite place. I want to go back there and see if it's any better. I just had one experience with it at like one o'clock in the morning when I was there with Cassie. So I don't recall it being that great, but I'll have to go again and see. Next up here I have another bag of candy. This is, oh, gummy candy corns. They're still squishy. Okay, I'm gonna have to try this one right now. This was $6.95 as well, and this is Fabulous Fantasyland. Sweet spells from Fabulous Fantasyland. Splendid sweets and tasty treats will do the trick. There's Minnie Mouse on there, conjuring up some spells. Dude, they smell like plastic. Maybe it's just the bag. It's not terrible. It tastes like candy corn. That's weird, but it's gummy. It's gonna take 84 years to chew. It tastes good, I like it. Next up in here, oh my gosh, this is funny. This isn't like a good memory by any means from Disneyland, this past trip in October. But it's Visine, I had to buy Visine while I was there for my eyes because when I did my Sarah Sanderson Halloween costume for the Mickey's Halloween party, I forgot to bring my contact solution with me and all I had was just like a little bit of solution in the jar for my contacts. So I had a way to clean them and I was like, okay, I'll just put them in and hope they work okay. And then when I put it in, I think there was like something inside the contact and it actually scratched my cornea. So I had a corneal abrasion on my eye and that's why if you guys noticed in the last few of my vlogs, my eye, whatever eye it was, was super, super, super red because I literally had like a cut on the cornea of my eye, which was so gross and so unattractive. I didn't have pink eye or anything gross like that. It was literally like a cut on my eye. And so I had to buy Visine for it. Didn't really help that much, but it kind of helped like tame down a bit of the redness, but I could literally see like a scratch on my apple, which was the worst thing. Bought that from the photo studio. Surprisingly, we sell Visine at the photo studio there at Disneyland. Who knew? Next up, we have birthday button. What a weird, why is it like, huh, that's interesting. The way that it's like, is on the back is not the way that it is on the front. Like on the front, it should be like that, but on the back, the pin is sideways. So if I were to wear it this way, the normal way, my name would be sideways. But it says, happy birthday, Blake. It was my 22nd and a half birthday. I was turning 22 and a half. I was down there for my half birthday on October 16th. I recently just celebrated my real birthday on April 16th, two days ago. So that was a great time. Didn't go to Disneyland because I was just there for three weeks in March. And I have some surprise news coming up at the end of April as well. So definitely stay tuned for that. If this video is posted by then, I have no idea who will be. Anyways, got this birthday button, sideways birthday button and it was a great time to wear on my half birthday. I loved it. And then the last little like collection of stuff I have, like I said, I did go to Not Scary Farm with my friends Desiree, Bree, and David when I was at Disneyland. I met up with them one night and did a adventure to Not Scary Farm, which was my very first time ever going. I had so much fun doing all the haunted houses, the mazes, watching some of the shows and stuff they had there. It was such a great time and I bought some stuff while I was there. Surprisingly. So the bag that I got, this whole like bag, everything in here was $20. And it was like, get our grab bag now and find out what magical surprises are inside. And I was like, okay, cool. So it was like all outdated stuff though. It wasn't stuff from the 2015 season. It was like stuff from previous years that they just kind of like put together and threw as like a bundle. So it's not Scary Farm Halloween Haunt 40th anniversary. I don't think that was even applicable to when I was there in October. So I have no idea. But I got this shirt, which as you can see from the front, Knott's Haunt 2011, but I was there in 2015. 
So like I said, they just kind of threw a bunch of stuff in there and called it good. And then on the back, we have this. It says Halloween Haunt, and then I don't really know what all these things are. Lockdown, Gypsy Camp, Virus Z. I'm assuming those are the attractions or the mazes that they had there, I think, 2011. But yeah, it's cute. It's an adult medium, so I'll have to wear that shirt. Next up, I have, ew, this is disgusting. This hat, Knott's Halloween Haunt. It's like covered in glue or something. I don't even know what, what's all over it, but Knott's Halloween Haunt hat. Just awful with like lights here on the front of it because you're supposed to like make it light up and this like just the creation of this is awful the side of it has like batteries in inside your hat and it's supposed to like flip the switch on and the lights are supposed to go on but the batteries are dead i don't know but it doesn't work and it's just ugly so it's okay i won't ever use it but yeah kind of neat right next up here i have this mask thing i don't know what this is for or what it's from i'm a little pig <laughs> do you love it it's so cute maybe it's a fan no it's not a fan it's a mask okay I don't know what that's for. Then I have this keychain, Knott's Halloween Haunt 40th Anniversary. There's a witch on there, I think. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's interesting. And then I got this, is this a skull or what is this thing? I don't even know what this is. Uh, shot glass, Halloween Haunt 40th. You guys can see inside there, like right here inside. It's a shot glass with the words there. I think it's glass, but the front of it doesn't even look like a skull. Can you guys see that? Like it doesn't even look like a face. I don't know what that is, but interesting. Next up, we have a deck of playing cards. Not Scary Farm Halloween Haunt 40th Anniversary. Everyone loves a good game of cards, right? I'll have to bring these with me and play cards by myself somewhere. Cute. Next up here, I have this pen. <laughs> the stuff in this bag is just ridiculous. Yeah, it's Not Halloween Haunt 10. Oh, lights up. That's a lie, but okay. A weird jiggly head skull. It looks like one of those uh, anemone, 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 anemone. Anemone, that thing. Then I have some maps in here, apparently. These did not come in this bag, I just shoved them in here. Beware of the Deadly Seven, they may be right behind you. And this is a map for all this stuff at the Haunt in 2015, so I actually like it. It's cute. And then, do you have your Not Scary Farm key? No, I do not have my Not Scary Farm key. Did not know that was an option, but oh well. And then it all comes in that bag, so that's super great like that. And then the last item in this haul, I believe, yes, the last item in this haul is from Not Sky Farm as well, ending it off on a spooky note, right? It's this shirt that I got. It is Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. If you guys don't know who she is, shocked. Me and Dez and Bree and David saw her show. I included that in the vlog that I posted. So if you guys haven't watched that, you should, because it's really great. It says, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, Not Sky Farm 2013, but they were all discounted because it, like I said, it was previous seasons, and this was five bucks instead of 20. It was only five dollars. It has glittery heart around it, and then it has a kitty cat. I love cats, and I love Elvira, and and she's so pretty, and I love this, so I'm into it. I like it a lot. Five bucks, who could say no, so. Yes, that's great. And with that, that is everything that I got while I was in Disneyland in October 2015 for my Vlogtober half birth week series. 2015, yes, Disneyland. Great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can follow me here on Twitter and all my other social media links will be down in the info box below, including my official Tumblr, Instagram, my real official Facebook page where I post tons of cool photos of Disneyland birthday trips, Disneyland diamond celebrations, Disneyland vlogtober trips, Disneyland spring break March Madness trips, and lots of other fun stuff. Definitely check out those links. Also leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite item is that I got in this haul. Because there was so much magical spooky fun that I got, and I want to know what your guys' favorite is, so tell me by leaving a comment down below. And until next time, I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.